Hello there, welcome back to a well update today. Right now we have um scattered severe thunderstorm warnings right now across West Virginia, New Jersey, and also in good Georgia, Mississippi, and also Texas. So we'll take a look at um what's going on across New Jersey. Right now we have a couple we have an isolated cell right here. Uh probably producing some um damaging winds and um some large hail. Yep. And then this one, heading to Morristown right now. Um, yeah, wind damage, um, probably possible with that cell. And um, heading over here, we're having, looking at these cells, bad radar coverage. Um, this cell is probably producing damaging wind, large hail. Same thing with all of these, actually, probably. Yeah. And this actually is about to expire. And yep, actually, yeah, it's confirmed. Um, so, anyways, heading to Georgia right now. We're looking at two cells. This is probably producing damaging winds. It's large hail. Yep, and then also this one doing maybe the same thing. Again, a couple atmospheric thunderstorm warnings in that. Um, yeah, this is a pretty pretty slow moving cells too this is probably producing hefty rainfall amounts if we're looking at mississippi um some thunderstorm development actually along what appeared to be an outflow boundary right there um this is probably producing damaging winds large hail and just damaging winds for this so um heading to texas now um looking at another Again, more cells probably bringing damaging winds or chill yet. And same thing with this, along in a pretty strong outflow boundary, in fact. Not bad at all. And, um, yeah, damaging winds or chill too. However, though, um, I have a slight risk across the mid, mid Atlantic headed to, um, southern New England. Um, we have a slight risk um, stretching from uh, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. We also have a marginal risk across um, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, and also Wyoming, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Colorado, Kansas, and Texas. Uh, probabilistics are 2% tornado across the uh, um, stretching from West Virginia and head into New Jersey. 15% wind within the um, slight risk, and 5% hail as well. So really, um, we'll take it over to the north east, and we can actually get an idea of what's going on. Mesoanalysis, very good tool from the SBC. Um, anyways, right now we're looking at, around here, we're looking at around 1,500 joules per kilogram as a mixed layer cape. And um, heading to these cells, um, heading to it's around one thousand to maybe five hundred to one thousand joules per kilogram. Um, effective shear, bulk shear. Right now we're looking at fifty knots around here. Not bad at all for thunderstorms. Um, start rotating anyways, and then um, zero to one kilometer helicity. Not too much at all. Fifty, hundred maybe, if, but not very good and then looking at zero to three kilometer 100 150 overall not too much low level lapse rates eight to 8.5 across here pretty steep and then um mid levels mid levels is not that good um composite looking at um multi-parameter fields we're looking at for surface vorticity and um three to three zero to three kilometer cape right now we're looking at 125 joules per kilogram here with low level significant rotation we might be getting a brief spin up or two out of that or maybe some just low level rotation warrant issue tornado warning can't that can't be ruled out at all and then across here we're looking at around 175 to around 100 joules per kilogram across these cells same really hazards it's a two percent tornado in place though and um like i said earlier so yeah apart from that that's really it 
Um, and uh, short, so we will update today. And tomorrow we might have another one. We'll see. Apart from that, it's really it. And goodbye.